G'day and welcome back to NS2 HD. This is uh, game number four of Sorderman vs Legendary Snails. We're uh, about eight, five seconds away from the start and as usual the mighty Wasabi one will take us away with the split. Alright, and the spawns happen. It's exactly the same as last round. I kind of like it when that happens. Gives each team the opportunity to play it out. Snails down south in Drone Bay. Marines up in Fabrication. 3-2 split by the Marines to Plaza and Energy respectively. But the aliens are pushing in a pack. I'm smelling the fromage. <laughs> it smells some French cheese. Uh, it's interesting to note the difference between Legendary Snails' play and Solomon's play at the start of this match. I mean, the Solomon last match putting one skulk on every approach. The Snails instead just moving in that roving pack. So they will stop a close extractor cap, but uh, they did lose a couple of skulks and nothing else is really going to happen. Tane moving very fast down towards the cis chain and cutting it straight away. Yeah, Marines taking advantage of the fact that they know four Skulks were up there in energy flow, making their way down quickly to try to stop any of their uh, normal expansion path. And popping a couple cysts may not seem like a lot, but this early in the game, two, three res, that's a big deal. It's a big deal. I mean, you're only sitting on one initial harvester. Uh, the second harvester just grown with the drifter. And combat happening for launch control, again, just like the previous game, looking for those marine phase gates in launch control and monorail, looking for those triangles to get map control with the triple phase gate. Dangerous situation, though, for the aliens to see Lama and Ninsa pushing into gravity control this early in the game. You want to be grabbing your close extractors, though the aliens are replying in kind by pushing in plaza. Yeah, you know, losing plaza... They lost energy flow, power's out in energy flow. They're trying to build monorail right now. Uh, you know, the Marines are still sitting in a little bit better spot because they're actually capping gravity. So that even if the aliens win an engagement in that room, they've then got to come in and actually kill the extractor as well. So it's just buying even more time for the Marines. Three skulks here in monorail, killing those guys and the extractor. Not doing so bad right now. Mm -hmm. I, I I mean, this extractor, it's that cheekiness of just grabbing the extractor closest to the alien hive. You know, what alien hive? What aliens are coming to kill our extractor? It's very cool. It indicates a, a high degree of aggression on the part of the Sorderman team. And if there's one thing that Marines need if they want to win games, it's aggression. So I'm feeling good for be the Sorderman right now. aggressive. Be, be aggressive. Yeah, okay. dance for us, Wasabi. Wilf dance. And Ray, <laughs> Wilf and Ray taking out that aggression from the Marines and the cis chain is now being spread out there to monorail and they're going to try to come in here and take gravity back initially i was a bit worried as ray went down but it looks like the aliens will succeed there we're just going to chew down the extractor and as wasabi said it's not just taking out the marines you got to deal with chewing down the bloody extractor there's a there's an enzyme right there but the alien commander recognizes oh we have to get this thing down fast so we can actually get some more resource flow happening because I do tend to find, Wasabi, that when you don't have any resources, it becomes a little bit harder to get higher level life forms in natural selection too. Yes, absolutely. As the res goes, so goes your life forms. Hmm. Dams is going to be able to get the power down here in launch control. And I like that. You know, getting the power down in these rooms is slowing the Marines down from expanding as well. Energy flow just got back up. They're now on three extractors again. And they're making their way down to monorail, which just has infestation. Lurks are up now, too. That's going to be a problem for the Marines. Uh, I want to make an, a critical note about mines. Up here in Crew Quarters, I can't remember which Skulk it was and who made the kill, but a Skulk was just running through here in Crew Quarters. I just got mined, randomly, and there was no one else around. There was no combat happening. Skulk's dead. Bam. But think about the long-term effects of that. Instead of a situation where a Skulk is chewing down Plaza, you've got a situation where nothing's happening in Plaza. So as a Marine, placing those mines around the map, getting that occasional little kill, can have long-term repercussions for the alien team that are beneficial to you. So think about placing those mines cleverly around the map in your pub games. Speaking of Plaza, we've got Lurk and Skulk here. Tane coming in trying to defend. Heracles getting some great spikes and bites down. And they're gonna lose this extractor here in Plaza probably. We do have one Marine Nate coming in right now. Can he save it from Wilf? Wilf biting, trying. Getting time, he's still alive, low on health, down, oh. 1%. I mean, I believe the emotion that Wilf would be feeling right now is something akin to what us humans would call frustration. Because the extractor was just so close to death, and then he got nailed. But the alien's having a little bit of fun over in Monorail, so they're probably not feeling too bad about that. Is that uh, face gate is going to go down? And what do we know about marine teams on... Uh, 
on on descent wasabi. What do they need? It begins with M and ends with ability. Mobility. That's man. the one. They need that mobility, and this is such a big map. And without phase tech going, without you know any uh, you know far-reaching extractors here, they got pressure coming down and energy flow. Plaza's still down. They're trying to take down the fourth harvester in launch control, but the aliens are doing a really good job of staying aggressive and staying on top of these marines. But look at this Ray's really low. Ray's trying to get out of the room. He goes towards Marine Start, and he gets out of the room with just a little bit of health. King Yo as well. And Heracles, oh, they are going Air France. Oh, are they? Where? Where? Heracles is now Lurk. So triple Lurk. And that's lurk. three Lurks. Ah. The triple Lurks. Air France. <laughs> I get it. You guys get it? It's because it's an airline and the Lurks fly? I get it. It took you, took you a little yeah, while there. there. <laughs> God. Two Marines making their way into gravity control, taking down the Harvester in here. King Yo, fully healed, back up, trying to defend. This gravity control Harvester, the aliens just have not been able to reliably hold it. I mean, that's gone down twice now. It's not just the cost of the Harvester itself, it's also the, the production foregone in not having it alive. So, and, and now we see pressure again from Lolnik and Nietzsche on the other side of observation. I just, both teams are uncomfortable in their resource collection at the moment. Aliens doing a good job of hitting plaza, hitting energy flow, and the Marines do a good job of hitting gravity control and observation. Oh, lurk down! Oh. King Yo just cannot get out of that space. Nate taking down his own teammate in order <laughs> to kill the lurk. And he got a double kill, as he says. I mean, that's <laughs> yes. very impressive from Nate, and I think that's a perfectly valid tactic to use. You've got to improve your stats. You need more double kills, triple kills. Just pop one in the back of your teammate's head. It, what's that between friends? I mean, it's okay. All right, so monorail getting pressured. We've got Nate over here in Shuttle Bay trying to stop aliens from expanding still on four harvesters three skulks now in launch control here tane going down the tay going down still no shotguns armor one being researched we got Nietzsche making his way into hydro analysis they're just trying to stop the res flow for the aliens right now and it just doesn't seem to be working for them just doesn't seem to be working for him. I like Neitz's position here in hydrogenalysis, being a sneaky little bugger to take down that harvester. Where do you think we're going to see the second hydro drop, uh, Wasabi? Are we going to see this in hydrogenalysis? I think it's going to be launch. It's going to be launch. No, it's going to be launch. Right. As, as we were saying during the start of these games, it's nice to have hydro because you get that hub and spoke effect and you can exert control over the entire map, but it is the riskier play, so we're probably going to see the hub, sorry, the launch control. Uh, drop. I'm thinking, am I watching Tram? Am I watching Descent? Where am I? What's my name? <laughs> Co big combat right. and energy flow. Lots, yeah, lots of cleanup here in energy flow. You got Double Skulk and Lurk. They're taking power out in pretty much every room. Aliens getting that Harvester back up in observation as Neats and Tane make their way into energy flow. King Yo getting the kill on Neats. But Tane saying, I'm coming to get you, comes into the closet. Yeah. Dead. Wow, great kill there by King Yo. It's going to give him time to get on this extractor as well. And I think at this point that the snails are really in a tough spot. They don't have much income. Weapons 2 is on its way, but they still don't have the shotguns out. They've got decent P res in order to, to be effective with those shotguns. But they don't have the mobility, and without the phase gates, I don't think they're comfortable doing the shotguns. And of course, Wasabi meant to say Sornaman during that little chat, but I totally agree with everything you said. Oh, I'm sorry. The lack of... Sornaman. I do it all the time, you know, I'll just be talking about something, and I'm just a completely wrong thing. I, I feel that's the story of my entire life. Note the way the Sornaman had to sit here building power for 20 seconds. 20 seconds, what's that? Well, it's actually a significant amount of time where these Marines could be doing something else. So the way the aliens keep taking down the power in these rooms is important not just from the perspective of, say, lost extractor production, but also that time, the forcing the repair. And that stops the Marines going out and doing other things as Dom sneaks up on launch control. Yeah, the fades are out, so Dams and Wilf making their way around trying to do some damage. And it looks like they're taking it straight to Marine Start as Nietzsche is about to spawn in. Dam's already low on health. He's got to be careful. There's mines down in this room. Now a second lurk in the room. 
Heracles. Commander out of the chair. Heracles Two Marines so making low. Their way oh, Doms, Doms, Doms. Get out of there, wow. Broski. Whoa. But Dan's got to be careful because he doesn't realize that Tane is coming back his way right now. Oh, but Will comes from behind, takes Tane down, making the way open for him. And Lurk look down, down in Marine Start. I felt like something was going to happen to Heracles. You know, that early on in that engagement, I just thought he's already low and he's sticking around. Danger zone. Lolnik proving that gravity control is not alien territory and we consistently see that throughout this match. And um, now the second hive dropped in Monorail. So we were both wrong, Wasabi, as usual. A hive <laughs> has been dropped. In the th I mean, it's almost as if they're listening to us and they're just nails and going, ah, no, no, we're going to drop it where we want. Chaps. Yeah, so the Hive in Monorail, the Harvester going back up over here is going to take him back up to four. Marine's going for shotguns now, and I'd like to see the Phase Tech come out here, and obviously they're there to finally take Hugh away. To, to what? To take me away? Yeah. Oh. This you is where everyone laughs at me because I've missed the joke, and everyone else gets it. Now, the Marines haven't really been able to hold energy flow for this whole game just in the way the aliens haven't been able to hold grav. And if that continues to be the case, it's going to be difficult for them to apply pressure to monorail, whereas you'll note the power is out. So this Lama Tain engagement here in energy flow will be quite crucial for what happens with monorail over the next few minutes. Absolutely. You know, the, the thing that, that's kind of going for the Marines at this point is that they've got their shotguns in their hands with weapons too. Armor 2 is being started. Llama and Tane. Wilf is here. What's going to happen? Can Llama turn around and get a good shot on Wilf? They need to take a fade down right now. Or even that lurk. If they took that lurk down, that would be big. But it looks like these guys are just going to get cleaned up. But they do know about the second hive now. Mm. Which probably means they're going to pay a lot more attention to energy flow. Or maybe phasing grav. I mean, that's not, an off, that's not often something you see, I guess, compared to some other locations. But applying pressure to one of these hives and getting a phase gate up, period. I mean, there's just no mobility for the Marine team. It's great that uh, Lolnik and Nate are pressuring down here. But think about how long it's taken them to get down there and how long it will take them to get back if they get killed. Phase is so crucial at the moment. Lama and Tane doing some great damage. Needs to come in with a rifle that will just add that little bit of extra something to those shotguns. And they've got to make a play. They've got to decide what they're going to do here. Marines roving around in, in pairs, killing non-humanoid stuff. Harvester in hydroanalysis is about to suffer. Might save the power there. Meanwhile, the Fades saying, well, all right, we're going to take this opportunity to push up into the northeast. And I just, I mean, the Marines have got these extractors down the western side of the map, but they're all under a little bit of pressure and they cannot be held easily without a phase. Lolnik and Natay, instead of building a phase in Grav, have actually pushed into Drone Bay itself, where Dams might yeah, be caught. They were able to take down one spur. You got the rupture happening there, which is just nasty on your eyesight as Marines. Now the one fade in, but now two. Here comes the lurk and sculpt to bite at your feet. Good cleanup by the aliens, quickly dropping that spur again. They did take out the harvester in hydroanalysis, putting the aliens back down to three. Phase tech finally being researched here at the 13 and a half minute mark. Marines still sitting on four, four extractors themselves, though. Not for long. Kingyo is taking down launch control. Um, Plaza is heavily damaged, it will need repairs, and there's just no chance for gravity control. Heracles is on his own, there's no Marines anywhere nearby, and that's going to go down for Shawsies. Unless Llama decides to reposition, he may be able to save it, but highly unlikely. So this is that vulnerability of the western side of the map that I was talking about. And uh, Marines in Hydro analysis, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to determine where their first phase is going to be. Who knows, it might be Hydro, it might go for that hub and spoke pressure. All right, well, what do you do now? What do you do? You got phase tech. It's time to deploy it. Probably a hydro gate to give them a little bit more mobility. I think that's exactly right. And I think you just said that, Hugh, is that, you know, they, they need that. But they're actually going to pressure alien start again. Sorry, I just totally warped us around. And, uh, and yeah, Nice play by the aliens, backing out as soon as they heard that tone. Nope, 
here come the coppers, we've got to run, and they did so. Um, ironically, this kind of forces the Marines to focus on something because they're all drawn into the same position, but given they don't have phases, ah, it just takes so long for them to push out to say, Sh uh, Hydra, where they might have been getting a little base going, and now, nope. Yeah, so they're gonna they're gonna move through water treatment here, maybe making their way back into hydro, and it looks like you know the south, the south is where they want to go. There's that gate in hydro that we talked about. There's pressure up here in security. And yep, the phase is up, and I like this phase because it's going to allow pressure towards monorail. I mean, water treatment is not a great route to take, but you can take it and pressure towards South Corridor and from there to either Grav or Drone Bay. So it's a nice little position to have if they can hold it. But they've also got to hold their close extractors and check out this combat happening here in Plaza. The lights are out, the flashlights are on, but all the neon's still going. I love it. I love it. The critical lighting power loop is very vulnerable to alien attack, but all the advertising, that'll keep going through thick and thin. Absolutely. It's the only way to advertise. Lurk coming through. Tane kind of ready for him. Waiting for him to drop. There doesn't. We got pressure over in Hydro, though. On the phase gate, you got one one uh, fade here. What are those Elites life forms coming called? Back? The ones with the sides. Whatever they are. Hey, what is this fade. game? Fade. Fade. Fade, fade. What is this game? Pretty cool game. I like it. I'll play it. I'll give it a go. Why don't, I'm, you know, I might play it after this, man. I'll give it a go. I'll have my first game of NS2. <laughs> So the second hive is done. The lurk upgrades are complete. You've got uh, biomass four, which means the umbra is available. And umbra is going to come into its own should any of these aliens get to the resource level to be Onos. Kingyo, the only one. I mean, going Air France earlier, going all those lurks means that the Oni are the mass Oni is definitely delayed. We're not going to see sort of that three Oni roving pack that we saw earlier on Vale. Uh, so, but, you know, the, the use of Umbra on the fades, on the skulks, still effective. I mean, having every second bullet not hit. And Hydro is actually about to go down. Bang, mobility dead. Yeah, so they're going to lose Hydro. It's going to take them down to three extractors. At the same time, though, they're saying, you want to take one of ours, we'll take one of yours. They take out gravity for what seems to be a very repetitive thing because gravity seems to be going down all the time. Gravity is just such a focus for combat during this match. And... Oh, oh, that fade, yeah, I Wolf, thought was Wolf about to fall off. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, oh my goodness, that is going to be a dead fade in the most horrible way possible. Have you thought about the physics of this gravity control area? I mean, like it's in a space station, right? This must be a massive space station. I can't say that I've actually given it a lot of thought. Well, you fail, get out. <laughs> So the Fade's coming back, all healed up. Take out the double Marines here in gravity as they're trying to build that gate. Gate gets recycled as Nate comes in. Ray trying to clean up. Nate does do so with the Lurk Bite. The Marines, you know, you can see they've, they've kept pushing back on the infestation. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying they're out of this yet, but they definitely still have a, a high road to climb. I mean, they need to do something here with these life forms. This Lurk needs to go down. Um, and even just like even taking one fade down could be really big for them. Kill it. All right, we got three marines coming down towards energy flow again. Energy flow like grav is just constantly contested this game. Neither team able to really hold it. Uh, interesting a phase in energy flow. Uh, to be honest, that looks a little bit defensive to me. That looks like a bit of a grind towards monorail. Like oh god, all right, we can't make any really creative plays here, so we're just going to grind these aliens down, trying to push towards monorail, take down that hive. Immediately, the aliens are all over this too. Note the use of celerity to get in really fast. And I mean, this thing could go down straight away. If I was the swordman right now, I would be extremely frustrated. That's a lot of reds to just push her away. Fades both getting through plaza without issue. You can see pressure from energy flow as the Lurk and Skulks are trying to make their way up a little bit towards Drone Bay there. Llama with his shotgun, though, doing some damage. Some damage, yes. Quel damage. <laughs> Even though that does not have anything to That's, do with damage. No, nothing. <laughs> All right. So energy flow goes down, taking it down to two RTs. Uh, two RTs, not healthy. And now... The western side of the map is distinctly green and slimy.
And what that means is less available resources. Note the way Wilf is moving through crew quarters at the moment. He's sort of quietly pausing, listening, moving, blinking, uh, shift, uh, sorry, shadow stepping. Very cool. And you've got enough life forms over here. I think they should just take it straight to base. You got everybody out of position at the moment. The OBS is already super low. Yep, there it goes. 30%. Oh, 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 oh. Can, it's gone. Yeah. It's going to be GG right now. They could grind the IPs. No, I mean, the team's going to run back. But now you're in a good position to go after this arms level like they're doing. Commander's out of the chair. A couple mines going off. Don't get caught off guard with your fades. Let them do a little bit of damage and get out of there. But they're in a good spot. Oh, King Yo, King Yo. Oh, so close. Just tap the arms up. Tap the arms up. Finish him. And now get out of there. Oh, Wilf, 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 and Dams both low health. Oh, Wilf into the vent. Wow. And he needs to run fast because Lolnik. No, Lolnik's not going to chase. Damn. Damn, Dams. And uh, a little bit of. A little bit of smack talk between <laughs> the teams, but the aliens, yeah. oh damn, do they own this map or what? I mean, it is just green infestation as far as the eye can see. This map is yeah, they've infested. Yeah, they've got this whole thing. Biomass started to take them to level 5. Phase tech is down because of the OBS disappearing. They've rebuilt the arms lab, but at a cost of 20 res to the team. And you know they're they're just in a really tough spot. Yeah, combined damage done to the uh, to the marine team was very significant there. Be both the orbs and the arms are down, and in the time it took for all these moves to come back. <laughs> Gorge tunnel in the club around the pole. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. You know it's getting serious when this happens. I love <laughs> I love the laser lighting coming off the roof, playing off the clogs. It's just such fun. And uh, Llama being a good bar today. Oh, where did Dams die? Whoa, I was... Yeah, Dams just died here in club. We caught it on camera. Oh, Take that, Twitch chat! Ah. <laughs> uh, but now another high being dropped in Hydro. You know, this... Uh, yeah, I mean... I'm a little surprised that Sonovan's still playing right now. <laughs> yeah, it's it's um, such low resource situation. Although Nietzsche is just gonna... He's gonna shred this hive. Heracles coming in is gonna delay him. And now we'll, we'll push an end to this debauchery in hydro analysis i love the drop of a clog on the floor so you can spit around the clog yeah that is very and cool and down goes need seen <laughs> heracles lives another day again fighting in energy flow again in energy flow onos upgrades started the first onos i well no oh kingyo is in his eight i think he's the first onos i don't think he had enough i think it's ray is going to be the Onos. Hmm. Let's look on the map. Let's see. D is going oh, fade Ray again. does have 66. Oh, that's... Kingyo is going Onos. Well, I'm sorry. Who's the I better analyst now, you. Wasabi? Who's I got trusted... the skills? Huh? Well, it's not me, so that was actually a serious question. And so, so take it straight to base and end it right now. You got the Gorge upgrades. You got Biobomb. You got the Onos uh, upgrades coming. Biomass for that is almost done as well. It's, it's now or never, guys. End it. Yep. Here they come. That phase gate is going down, and I cannot see the Marines recovering this situation very easily. You've got the Onus there to just tank the damage, and there it is. There's the GG. Game over, man. It's game over. And that was game number four in Legendary Snails vs. Tournaments. The series tied up to all in this uh, NSL, uh, NSL Season 4 Premier Division matchup. Yeah, so... There we go, folks. A tied series at the end of week two for Legendary Snails and Sonoman. And if you are watching on NS2HD, it's been a pleasure to have you, and I'll see you all soon for more NS2HD videos.